How did I make it all these years? How did I make it this far? Through the valleys and over the hills. I know it had to be God. How did I make it through the storm? How did I make it through the rain? If you want to know just how I got here, it's so easy to explain. It was God grace. God's grace. 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 It was God grace. Oh, I made it this far. By the grace of God, it was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. Oh, I made it this far. By the grace Listen, Lord, I thank you for how you brought me how you brought me through the night lord you kept me and you never left me stood by my side there were so many times when i came so close oh man death tried to take me in so the reason why I'm here today is not hard to see. In fact, so easy to explain. It was God's grace. God's grace. Well, God's grace. God's grace. Well, God's grace. Well, God's grace. God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. Oh, I made it this far. By the grace of God, it was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. Oh, I made it this way. By the grace of God, listen. 
said, Lord, I thank you for how you brought me, how you brought me through the night. Lord, you kept me and you never left me. Stood by my side. There were so many times when I came so close. Oh, man, death tried to take me in. It was God's grace. God's grace. God's grace. His holy grace. God's grace. His saving grace. God's grace. God's grace. His powerful grace. His holy grace. Some people said, they said I wouldn't make it. Some people said, I wouldn't be here today. It was God's grace. God's grace. Lord, I made it this far. By the grace of God. God's grace. Yes, I did. You don't know what all I've been through in my life. It was God's grace. God, holy and amazing grace. Yes, you was. Oh, I made it this far. By the grace of God. God's grace. Thank you for that song. Thank you for the praise service. This far. thank God for life. Thanking Him for portion of health and strength. Hallelujah! I give honor to God today, who's the head of my life. I give honor to everyone that is here today. I was, I was worship leader. Deacon Blanks, you're really good with um, illustrations. <laughs> praise God! Hallelujah! I'd like to hear you make those illustrations. You was talking about the word when we listening at the word, how the word cleanses, praise God. The word sure does cleanse us. That's why we all sitting here today because we heard the word one day being preached. And we got tired of our old ways, praise God. And you says, I want to get myself cleaned up, hallelujah. And that word would cleanse us. Like you said, that lotion made you feel better. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for his word. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I glorify God today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. I hear that the time was going up. I thought we was already up. Praise God. So we got to go, what, up, back? Are we going? So we still going to be an hour more than we are now. My goodness. Thank God for the time and thank God for just everything. Thank God that we are here today because 
there has been people that was not maybe here at Unity, but there has been people that was here last Sunday, round and about. But if you call their name, they can't answer. Hallelujah. But God has got us all here, ain't that right? He woke us up this morning and he gave us life and he watched over us all through the night as we slept in slumber. Now, it ain't nothing good that we have done so much better than nobody else. But God said, praise God, let her live or him live a little bit longer. Ain't you glad about it that we can praise God? We can praise him today. We want you to get your Bibles now, and we want you to turn to St. John, the 15th chapter. And we're going to begin from 1st through the 11th verse. And when you get, get the word, if, if you can, please stand. I know I haven't been doing a lot of standing. But praise God, I just want you to overlook me and forgive me because sometimes I can move around a lot and sometimes I can't. But I give God the thanks that I could even be here. St. John, the 15th chapter, 1st through the 11th verse. Some of my reading going to be from the King James Version, but this is going to be the, the NIV that I'm reading from. John, praise God, he was saying, he says, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does not bear fruit, he prunes, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. You must remain in the vine. Neither can you hear fruit unless it bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remain in me and I in him, he will hear much fruit, have much fruit, do much fruit. He is like a branch that is thrown away and withered. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, whatever you ask, and it will be given you. This is my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in, me, in my love. If, if you obey my commandment, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commandment and may, remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is the word of God, church. And it can be trusted. Amen. Our subject today is, I am the true vine. Let us pray. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we glorify you and we praise your righteous and holy name. Thank you so much, God, for letting us be here today, not taking it for granted, because, God, we know that you love us, just like you had told the disciples when you was talking to them and you also talking to us that you love us. You love us so much, God, that you gave your holy and righteous life for us. We want to say thank you. Forgive us, for God, for all our unrighteousness sin because we all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. Creating us, God, a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. I will bless the Lord at all times because you are good. Lord, we asking you now to just let Willie sit down and you stand up in me, O oh God. We know that your grace is sufficient. You, we were saved by grace through faith, O oh God, according to the Apostle Paul, O oh God. One day, praise God, I was got saved during a revival, praise God. I call upon your name, praise God. Hallelujah, didn't harden my heart and you saved me, Lord Jesus. You give me the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Now I can be a witness for you, Lord, and tell people what does said the Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, for how you blessed us all and kept us, and you gave us all food to eat and clothing to put on our back. And, Lord Jesus, the use and activity of our limbs. Some of our limbs might be hurting, but that's okay because you give us feet and legs and things where we can walk and mouth where we can speak and eyes where we can see. And, God, I just thank you, hallelujah, for your holy grace. Now we asking you to bless each one that is here, oh God. We know that there might be some, oh God, is dealing with problems with family or sickness or whatever the problem is. But we know what we need that you got it. So Heavenly Father, we asking you to have mercy upon us because you are the true vine, oh God, and your husband, your, your father is the husband man. He's the gardener, oh God. He looks out to all of us. Thank you, Lord, for your grace, love, and mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, who is the King of kings and Lords of lords, amen and amen. In John, the 15th chapter, Jesus transformed the Old Testament symbol for Israel, the vine, into an allegory of fruitfulness, discipleship, and prayer. Christ himself was the true vine and his father as the husbandman. And the believers were the branches. There who remained in him obeyed him and followed his commandments, produced fruit. Such individuals would have unlimited possibilities in prayer because all their prayers would be conformed to the divine will. Jesus also warned his disciples and us of coming persecution and promised that the Spirit would, was un, enable us to witness to him despite hardship and persecution. This is telling us, church, that regardless of what's going on in our life, Jesus, hallelujah, he was our creator, praise God. And he came to this world, and hallelujah, and the world, praise God, did him so bad they was mean to him. He was letting us know, you're going to have some persecution, brothers and sisters. People are going to talk about you. They're going to do a lot of things about you. But praise God, we still need to be a witness, praise God. I know my Lord, praise God, is a good Lord. One day, praise God, when I was in the world, world with sin, so much is going on, praise God. And Jesus looked down, and he had mercy upon me, oh God. I felt an emptiness in my body, in, in my soul, but Jesus gave me a mind. He gave me a mind, oh God, to want to live right. Hallelujah. I used to say all the time, you know, I'm going to go to church, but I want to serve God just like I do the devil. The Bible said you have to love one and hate the other. You can't to serve two masters at one time. Praise God, I chose to love Jesus. Hallelujah, the world has a, don't say the world don't have nothing to offer. The world has a lot to offer, brothers and sisters. But you got to make up your mind because Jesus Christ, he came and he is that true vine. And hallelujah, and I thank him. I thank him, I thank him. Oh, glory to God. I want you to sit up like you, you know me. You've been, I've been here pretty near 40 years. Everybody know who I am. So if you know the word, just witness to the word. Praise God. I need for you to be my cheerleader, okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't act like you don't know the word because we done been through this here a lot of time. As a matter of fact, the teacher just got through coming out of John. Praise God this week. So let us act like we know who Jesus is. Let us act like that God is the true vine. Hallelujah, because he done did so much for us. We call on him, praise God, sometime late at night, and he hears us, oh God. He speaks to us, oh God. Hallelujah, praise God. A lot of time when we're in, in our sleep, sometimes we have dreams. He tell us what to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every branch Jesus spoke of two categories about the of branches. He said there's a fruitless and there's a fruitful. There's branches that do bear fruit. There are branches that do not bear fruit, praise God. That's what I'm talking about. The branches cease to hear fruit are those who no longer 
have the life in them that comes from enduring faith and love for Christ. These branches the Father takes away, that if he separate them from the vital union with Christ. You know what? You got to constantly hear God's word. You got to constantly meditate on God's word. You got to constantly stay in touch with God. Hallelujah. You got to meditate on that word. You can't just come to church today and not listen at God's word or read God's word and come back next week. Thank you. You're going to feel that vital praise God in your spirit. You will not praise God. It's going to, it's going to cease praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody might be around witnessing, jumping and shouting, and you'll wonder what's wrong with you. Praise God. It's because you're not being connected to that vine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Satan give us a lot of excuses. But brothers and sisters, we better get on board. Hallelujah. Because Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back for a church, a church that is without spot or wrinkle. Jesus purpose was to move his disciples from servants to friends. This would involve a process of discipleship in regard to his commandment. When you prune, what the word prune mean? Prune means, this word means in the nature, it means cleanses fruit of insects and disease. That's in the nature. When you go out and prune your yard bushes and things, my husband used to go out, we had one little old red bush in the yard and he used to just seem like he just cut on that little old bush all the time. And I used to tell him, Henry, stop cutting on my bush. You're going to kill it, praise God. But he was trying to trim it back so it would bear natural fruit, praise God. So in the spiritual counter, hallelujah, past is cleaning that is done through the word. We are clean spiritually through God's word. Praise God, hallelujah. You can't get clean no other way. I don't care how much water, lotion, or whatever you put on you. Only thing can cleanse you is God's word. Is his word. So don't you think you can get clean any other way? If, the, if you don't remain in me, what Jesus was saying, not remaining in Christ has, <clears throat> has serious consequences. First of all, the person is throwing away and indicate the loss of fellowship. How do we think we're going to fellowship with Jesus and we come into church once or twice a year? How we think we're going to not fellowship with our brothers, praise God, and sisters, if we don't fellowship with one another? Didn't Hebrews 10 and 25 tell us to fellowship with our brothers and sisters? Read it. It's in the scripture, praise God. We have to fellowship with each other, praise God. The person with us, indicating a loss of vitality, in other words, it's persistent in energy. You ain't going to have no energy if you don't come and hear what God's words say. Yeah, we can hear what the, the, the TV say, preachers on TV. We can hear what, the, what they call it on Facebook. There are people that's on Facebook that is preaching. Maybe some people is not able to come. But whatever, you better listen at God's word. The person is burnt, indicating a loss of reward. In summary, three important truths are taught in this parable. The responsibility of abiding in Christ is placed upon the disciples. This is our response to God, prior gift of divine life, and power given to at conversion. When we was converted into Christ, we was given power. The Bible said, after the Holy Ghost come, we shall receive power. A power, power is the Holy Spirit that Jesus sent back, his father sent back when those 120 people was in that upper room. They was waiting from the promise from on high. Praise God. That's the power that we need. Hallelujah. Abiding in Christ result in less continued in dwelling. Fruitfulness of the disciple. Success in prayer and fullness of joy. When you got the power of God in you, you got power. Praise God. And when you get out on your knees, and if you don't get on your knees, whatever way you pray, you got joy. Joy come in the morning. Praise God. I hear us quoting all the time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Deacon Jesus, Long, quote that scripture for me when, some, when David said in 30. 
but Deacon Long is not here. Praise God. Somebody quote that scripture for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, Bible study people. Yes, yes. Joy, joy, joy. Come in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, come in the morning. We're going to have joy. You can't walk around with your head all down because Jesus, praise God, has given us that joy. Hallelujah. To the consequences of failure to abide in Christ are to fruitless removal from Christ. A fruitlessness removed from Christ and destruction. Praise God. Paul said in Galatians 5.22, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faith, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask what you will and it will be done for you. The love is pictured as fruit here. The text has come full circle in showing how strategy it is for disciples to mean to, to love each other. As Christ's method of evangelizing the lost, they shall know becomes, or uh, you will be Christ's disciples. Where there is good fruit, there is also seed for proportion, for reproduction. As the Father loved me, I also love you. The love of God, the Father, for God the Son, is the measure of love of the Son for believers. Abide in my love. Christ loved believers unconditional. But as believers obey Christ's word and abide in his love, they come to experience and understand his love for them. More and more, that you may be full, full is an expression particularly to John 3, 29 and 16. Praise God, hallelujah. Describe believers' experience of Christ's love, complete joy. Jesus went through a lot of suffering and pain for us, asking God if, he be, if it be thy willing to remove the cup from him. Nevertheless, he said, not my will, but thy will be done. And there are he appeared an angel unto him from heaven, Thank hallelujah, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was as it was drops of blood falling down to the ground. When Jesus prayed, praise God, he was in such agony. He was sweating so to drops of blood fell, I mean, drops of uh, sweat fell to the ground. He was in agony. Have you ever prayed that earnestly? Have there ever been seen like blood dropping down from your face when you prayed, praise God, because you was in such agony. Jesus is all about it. Jesus knows us, and he knows what we're going through. Sometime, hallelujah, we are weak, but Jesus is always strong. Jesus came to this earth, praise God. Thirty-some years, praise God, he was here. He came purposely to die for you and I. Praise God. We ain't got nothing to brag on. That praise God for Adam and Eve. We know that they had sin in the Garden of Eden. So Jesus came through the 42 generation, and he died for the sins that they had committed. Praise God. Hallelujah. And sometimes we sit back just like we don't know who he is. God is a good God. He's a good God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now Jesus was betrayed and arrested. Jesus asked for forgiveness of those of the Father for the people because they knew not what they were doing. They whipped him. They mocked Jesus. They ridiculed him. They slapped him. They spit on him. Jesus, who is the Son of God, took all the abuse for us. They hung him on the cross. The Bible said the curtain in the temple split half in two from top to bottom. We was reconciled back to our father that Adam and Eve had sinned in the Garden of Eden. Two of the seven sins, Jesus said, it is finished. John 19 and 30. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Luke 23, 46. Jesus died and was buried. The third day he rose with all power in his hand and it says, stayed connected to the vine, true vine. You don't want to wither up and die. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus has died. He has risen. The Bible said he risen on the third day. Ain't you glad about it? 
because Jesus seen you and I. Hallelujah, he rose from the dead. Hallelujah. With all power, he said, I see those people at unity. I know they're coming on. That's been meant, that's been 2,000 years ago. But Jesus seen us way back then. Hallelujah, and I'm glad about it because he is the true vine. Hallelujah, and his, hus his father is the husband man. He's the gardener, praise God. We go to him just as we are. We're at wound and sad. We found in him a resting place, and he has made us glad. I have joy in my soul this morning. Ain't you glad about Jesus today? Why don't you clap your hand and give him some honor and praise? Why don't you just say glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. May God grace, God grace is sufficient, is that right? God grace, praise God. Those sisters sung that song. I love that song. Because his grace is sufficient. Hallelujah. I love Jesus today because he first loved me. Jesus Christ is coming back, brothers and sisters. He said he are coming back for a church, a ready church without spot or wrinkle. Let us get ready. Praise God. This ain't no playing time. Praise God. If you're not, praise God. If you were, you can't pray during 12 o'clock to 1230. Praise God. Have your phone ready if you can. Praise God and pray on the, on, listen at the prayer on the phone. Praise God. Jesus ain't playing around, and we better not be playing around. Hallelujah. I don't want Jesus to take his, his spirit from me. I want to be, hallelujah. Praise God. I want to be ready when Jesus Christ comes back. I love him. Hallelujah. When a lot of time when we're in the hospital, Jesus is right there, and we need somebody to pray for us. Sometimes we can't even say, Lord, have mercy. Sometimes we just need one another. Sometimes we might can say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy upon me. Please, God, give me strength. Help me to hold on. Sometimes our children, praise God, hallelujah, they hard hit it and won't listen. But you know what? That's all right. You go ahead on, praise God, and do what God has told you to do. Because one day that deaf angel is coming. Hallelujah. He said, I'm coming. I'm coming back for a church, a church without spot or wrinkle. Let us be ready, brothers and sisters, because Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. And it'll be too late. Hallelujah. Praise God, because the Bible said, after if death is judgment. Praise God. If we don't repent here on this earth before we leave here, it's too late to repent when we get where we're going. Because Jesus Christ, he's going to say, hallelujah, depart from me. I know you're not because your work is the work of iniquity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, church, and let's not play church. Let us get right with God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Help us to keep the strength that we got. Help us, oh God. I ask God this morning, give me if my cup might be half empty. So fill me up, up, Lord Jesus. Fill me up, oh God. Hallelujah. If my cup is half empty, fill me up, oh God. Just like those five foolish virgins. They didn't have enough oil in their lamp, oh God. They went and tried to find some lamp, but was of some oil. But when they came back, the bridegroom went in and closed the door. I don't want no door closing in on me, Lord. I want to be ready when he come. Let us be ready. Ready, ready. Hallelujah. Because he's soon to come. I believe that. Because a lot of time, Lord Jesus, we're looking at things happening. And it's so much complaining. I wonder what God is trying to tell me. He's fulfilling what his words say. He said, what going in the light, dark is coming to light. And a lot of stuff coming to light. So you just be ready if he come back today. Praise God. Let us all be ready. Praise God. If he come tomorrow, you be ready. You might be on an airplane. Praise God. Hallelujah. You might be driving your car. Whenever he get ready, he's coming. He don't nobody know but the Father according to the word of God. Let us be ready, brothers and sisters, when Jesus come. He done made that Passover for us, oh God. He done died and he done give his holy life for us because it wasn't nobody worthy to go man's barn. But Jesus Christ, let us go. Hallelujah. We can't die for our children. We can't die for our husbands. We can't die for our wives. We can't die for nobody. We have to die for ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I miss my husband. My husband is gone on, praise God. Hopefully he is with the Lord. I yet got to go make that crossover. So when he come back, I think hope to be ready. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the King of kings and lords of lords. Amen and amen. Sister musician, could you give us some soft music, please? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Yes, yes. And I want to say something else to the church. Don't be never ashamed to honor God. If you ask to do something and you know you can do it, don't be ashamed. God didn't give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us the spirit of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed because Jesus Christ is our love, our Lord and Savior. Spoiling Jesus of being shamed. Hallelujah. To go to that cross to die for you because you ain't did nothing to deserve that. But Jesus came and he came purposely just to redeem man back to God. In the name of Jesus, who is the King of kings and lords of lords. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I just want to say a short prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. We know today, Lord Jesus, that you is a precious keeping God, that you love us so much that you give your holy and righteous life for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you have done. Sometimes, Lord, we are abused in this world. Sometimes we are talked about. Sometimes, Lord Jesus, we don't know if we can continue to go on through the different things that you the devil put us through. But you said that we was going to have persecution. You said, Lord Jesus, that you're coming back. Because, see, all, that, all that's going to be done away with. There's going to be joy, joy, joy. Joy in the morning, joy at night, joy in the noon. Dave, there's going to be just joy. I love you today, Jesus, because you first loved us. In your name I pray. Amen. Now the doors is open for the church. Lord Jesus, the ones that... Don't know Jesus as your pardon of the sin. Would you come, praise God, and give your life to the Lord. I know that we don't have any visitors. If you need prayer, just come to, just come. God sees you. He knows your heart. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be shamed. Hallelujah. I'm coming back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy God. Sister Francine, I see that you are in a lot of pain. Could you come forward so the church can pray for you? Deacons, would y'all come and pray with this sister? Sister Wood. I might be breaking the rules a little bit, but I see her in so much pain. And God don't want us to dismiss when we see our brothers and sisters in pain. If we can do something about it, we need to do it. You come in. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for the word of what we're saved, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly thank Father, you. we ask you, Lord, we see that one that came, Lord God, to be touched by you, Lord God. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we ask you, Lord God, to be with us, Lord God. Lord God, we know thank that you, you say sickness always is going to be with us, Lord God. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, we know in your word that you would take us through it, Lord God. Yes. So, Heavenly Father, I just ask you to remove the pain right now, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly Father, touch her body, Lord God. Thank oh, you, Heavenly Jesus. Father, give her the strength, Lord God, the cheering, Lord God, the husband, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, his other who stood in the pew, Lord God, I ask you to touch her right now, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, touch her right now, Lord touch God. Touch her, Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, touch her, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly Father, I should ask you to look over me, Lord God. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, as I go Tuesday for the procedure for my bike, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly Father, I ask you to strengthen the doctor's hands, Lord God, his mind, Lord God. Thank you, Oh, Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I know that you said everything's going to be all right, Lord sure God. Enough. So, Lord, I put everything in your hand, Lord God. I turn it over to you, Lord God. So, Heavenly Father, Lord God, I trust in you. Do it all, Lord God. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, I know that you gave the doctor the, the knowledge, Lord God. Lord God, but I give you the thanks, Lord God. I give you the praise, Lord God. Because, Lord God, who you are, Lord yes. God. So, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank, thank you for you, the Jesus. blessing, Lord God. I thank you for the healing, Lord God, that you did on this day, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly Father, the strength that you gave somebody, yes. Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. 
the faith that you gave somebody, the courage, Lord yes, God, to move yes. forward, Lord God. And we thank you right now. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Sister Francine. and God bless you. If there is someone listening at Facebook today at this message, praise God. We asking you to turn to God. Look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord. You just say, God, go to God and say, I'm a sinner. Say by your grace, O oh God, through faith. Asking you to forgive me for my sins, O oh God, because I have been walking this earth and you've been so good to me. And I ask you to forgive me for my, all of my unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You may be seated. Amen. Talk to me and ask everybody to focus your mind on the communion table. I am the true vine in the branch. You know, I, when Jesus was sitting in the upper room and as they gathered in the upper room, he was telling them, his disciples that he wasn't going to do, do this no more with them. And as they sat that he began to minister to them. And as he would minister to them, he took the bread and the loaf and he began to simply pass it around to each one of his disciples as he was telling them about the journey he getting ready to go on to. And it says in First Corinthians, Paul say, Whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he come. So then whoever eat the bread or drink the cup of the Lord in worthy manner will be guilty of sin against the, the body and the blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before it they eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For those who eat it and drink without discerning the Lord body of Christ, eat it and drink it judgment on themselves. And at this time, you've got to let take our mind and focus and focus on God. That I will, you know we say with that I'm not worthy, but this is your opportunity to get worthy as we pass it. Um, praying over the, the loaf and over the cup. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus. Thanking you for allowing us one more time to be in your house. We heard the word from the woman of God and she gave it to us as the Lord laid on her heart to study and let us know today that it's his word, not her word, his word. And we give you praise and honor for without you, Lord, we can't do anything. We thank you for lying, help, and strength that you give us to be in your house again to give you praise and honor because, for, Lord, we can't do anything without you. I woke up this morning and just was thanking you for just letting me be able to take a shower. Thank you for food that you put on my table, a roof over my head. Lord, I thank you for my family this morning. I thank you that I didn't get a phone call or anything. Father God, everybody was doing well. I say thank you because without you, Father, we can't do anything. I thank you for the strength that you put in my body once again because tomorrow not promised to me. But let me do everything right now while the blood is still running on my veins. I give you all praise. Father God, now if we get to do communion, I thank you, Lord, that I'm Thank you for the bread of a sample for your body. Thank you for letting us be able to do this. In your son Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We come to the table of mercy. 
to take of the blood of Jesus. In his word, he asks us as often as we drink of his blood, do it in remembrance of him to show forth his death and suffering until he come. Picture in your mind to this day the crown that was a, a throne that was pushed down on his tender bride. Just picture in your mind how the blood was streaming down. He want us to remember that. He want us to remember the nails that was driven in his hand. Picture in your mind that. Oh God, we remember. He want us to remember the spear that speared him in the side. And out came blood and water. He want us to remember as often as we partake of his blood, he want us to remember. He also want us to remember how the grave could not hold his body because he got up with all power in his hand. He want us to remember as we do life that Jesus rose with all power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you has done. In Jesus the Christ we pray. Amen.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for your people on today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Heavenly Father, we ask asking you to look upon each one of these souls today as they leave this building. Bless them and bless their family, God. Keep them, Lord Jesus, till we meet again. Forgive us for any wrongness that any wrongness that we have done. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest ruling about now with your people. Let everybody sing. <laughs>